Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I wanted to jump on here real quick and drop a quick rant because I can't stand when people say stuff when other things have proven that what they're saying now is complete and utter bogus nonsense, right? Before we jump in, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Be sure to ring that bell. Keep on following us. Keep on supporting. We greatly appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer to 3,000. Let's make it happen by tomorrow. Okay? Let's make that happen, people. I appreciate you. The Erica Hamby filed this federal lawsuit against the Las Vegas Aces and the WNBA. And now Becky Hammond is talking. Someone should have advised Becky Hammond that when you're un, when there's a, a, a pending lawsuit going on, you shouldn't actually talk to the media about it. But Becky Hammond does it her way. Becky Hammond addressed the media after they beat the Los Angeles Sparks, who the Erica Hamby plays for the Los Angeles Sparks. She addresses the lawsuit in a press conference post game. Who is advising this woman? Has, has someone from the public relations, SI, from the sports information office, whatever? Hell, the fucking president of the team, the owner of the franchise, Mark Davis, not told her, shut the freaking hell up. You don't talk when you're under litigation. You have nothing to say. It's no comment. Next question. No, 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 not Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond says, here's some facts. I've never, I've been in the, either the WNBA or NBA for 25, now 25 years. I've never had an HR complaint, not, never, not once. I still didn't actually, because Dierica didn't file any. She didn't file with the Players Union and she didn't file with the WNBA. Those are facts. It's also factual that nobody made a call about trading her until Atlanta called as us in January, 2023. That's a fact. So it just didn't happen. I'm sorry, the bullying, I spoke with her every day. If she wanted to practice, she practiced. If she, did, she didn't, she didn't. Over-the-top care, actually, over-the-top care. <sighs> I don't know if Dierica Hamby filed a formal complaint with human resources against Becky Hammond. What I know is that she filed a lawsuit against the WNBA and the Las Vegas Aces. What I know is that they went to the EEOC first, got approval from the EEOC to file suit. A notice of right, she received her notice of right to sue on May 23rd of this year. Dierica Hamby wasn't pleased with what the WNBA did and how they handled the situation. You think Dierica Hamby is just randomly lying about the things that she claims and alleges that Becky Hammond said, and then is putting that on paper in a federal lawsuit. Look, I know everyone has a side. There's this side, there's this side, and there's the truth. But the WNBA has a history of dealing with these situations poorly. They have they had issues with Skylar Diggins Smith with her pregnancy. You have an issue here. You have a coach who is accused of, of saying things that are completely inappropriate to anyone on the face of the freaking earth. But here's the kicker. Becky Hammond got suspended by the WNBA. She got suspended. When you get suspended, my dear Becky Hammond, it is because you did something wrong. In the investigation that the WNBA con conducted, you did something wrong enough that you got suspended. But now, it's hitting real paper. It's hitting real paper. And now you're embarrassed. You're supposed to be a league about DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and all that stuff. There's no diversity, equity, and inclusion in the WNBA. It is an LGBTQ league and all the other initials. If you're not LGBTQ, XYZ, whatever, there's a problem. You can't have a baby. You can't have a boyfriend or a husband. You have to ma manage your life around basketball as if you can't have a kid until you're darn near 40 because you'll have someone like Becky Hammond make alleged statements like this. 
the entire executive office of the Las Vegas Aces need to go. And Becky Hammond, it, what she's doing right now is she's basically giving you the double middle finger saying, I'm going to do whatever I want, and I'm going to say whatever I want, because there's no one on the face of planet Earth that would ever advise the head coach who has all these allegations to speak to the media. Becky's not included. Becky Ham is not included in that lawsuit. She should be. She should be, in my opinion. So she feels like it's okay to talk. This is craziness. This is crazy. Just reading this on this story is on ESPN today. I, I, I she says the pregnancy wasn't a problem. Yet she allegedly made statements saying, "Well, what did you plan your pregnancy? You know, you, you like what, what? So you got rid of a player who now was among the ten best players in the league because she was pregnant. She didn't miss a game for the Sparks last year. She played pregnant when they won the championship. She started on that team." So all of that shit that Hammond allegedly said didn't actually happen. She did everything. Hammy did everything she said she was going to do. And here Ham Hammond is jumping on. She's adamant that the Aces did not treat mistreat Hamby. Yeah, you traded her because she was pregnant. You traded her because you didn't, you didn't want to deal with the headache of the maybe she might miss the next season or miss games the next season. You traded Hamby to get three more bodies in her one contract, and we wanted to get three more, blah, blah. Obviously, the, the statements that Hammond made allegedly to, to Hamby are not provable or disprovable unless, unless there's a recording. But I find it hard to swallow that a pregnant a woman, a pregnant woman, would just make that up. So sorry, Becky. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Maybe she never filed a former HR complaint, but she filed a complaint somewhere. Whether it was against you specifically, the team, the complaint got filed, which is why it got investigated and which is why you got suspended. And the team lost a draft pick, I believe it was. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, shut the fuck up and let the litigation take its course because when you open your mouth, you are not helping that franchise. You're damn sure not helping yourself because there's many of us out there that think you're, you're actually get fired. Just for the fact that this is even a possibility, because if a man did what you did, what you allegedly did, and a man was the VP, the, the, the GM and the president of this team, they'd all be fired already. All y'all would be gone. All of y'all would be gone. But let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think about what Becky Hammond said here. Love to hear it. Leave a like, follow, subscribe, ring that bell. Come on now.